Hello guy welcome back to my channel YouTube speaking news. Today I have good news for share to everyone. While Hummer is an old name, the Hummer EV will be an all new model within the GMC lineup. The Hummer EV will go on sale in fall 2021, and at first only the most expensive edition one model will be available. Less expensive trims will come into the picture starting in 2022. At launch, only the top edition one trim and its six figure price tag will be available. It's loaded with all of the best items offered on the Hummer EV, including an adjustable air suspension, Super Cruise semi-autonomous driving mode, a power-operated tonneau cover, and a giant 13.4-inch infotainment display. The Hummer EV 3X will be the next one to launch, and is scheduled for fall 2022. The Hummer EV 2X and Hummer EV 2 have a less powerful two-motor drivetrain, and will go on sale in 2023 and 2024, respectively. Engine, Transmission, and Performance for now, the only powertrain available in the Hummer EV is a setup with three electric motors that makes 1,000 horsepower. All-wheel drive is standard and GMC estimates a 0 to 60 mph time of 3.0 seconds, which the company says is achievable thanks to the truck's What's to Freedom launch control driving mode. GMC is also quoting a dubious 11,500 lbft torque figure from this powertrain, but that estimated number is almost certainly calculated through the torque multiplying effect of the truck's gear ratios. While we take issue with how that misleading torque number is calculated, it should have massive pulling power regardless. The real torque number will be between 1000 and 1100 lbft, lbft, GMC insiders say. We were able to test drive a prototype model, and were wowed by its performance. We are eagerly awaiting our chance to test the Hummer EV's performance capabilities at our test track, and will update this story with test results as soon as we can. Towing and Payload Capacity Speaking of towing and payload, GMC has not yet released that information. In order to be competitive with the Tesla Cybertruck and Rivian's R1T and R1S models, the Hummer EV would need to boast towing capacity between 7,500 and 11,000 pounds, as well as a payload capacity between 1,500 and 3,500 pounds. Range, Charging, and Battery Life The Hummer EV uses GM's new Ultium battery pack technology, and boasts an estimated 350 miles of driving range per charge. The company also said that the Hummer will have an 800-volt electrical architecture with 350-kilowatt fast charging capability which allows it to add 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. For buyers who don't have any DC fast charging stations nearby, the Hummer EV will also be able to charge on regular public charging terminals or at home via a provided adapter, but charging times are significantly slower. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPG Even though Hummers of yesteryear were mainly SUVs, the Hummer EV takes the form of a crew cab pickup truck with a 5-foot-long bed. An SUV model will follow the truck into production and should be revealed sometime in 2021. The Hummer EV's cabin is similarly spacious to GMC's Sierra crew cab pickup truck, and the interior can be opened to the elements via a novel removable roof that reintroduces a T-top-esque design popular in GM sports and muscle cars in the 1970s and 1980s. When in place, the transparent panels are akin to a normal panoramic glass sunroof, but lifting them off and stowing them in the Hummer EV's front trunk gives the truck a convertible vibe similar to that of the Jeep Gladiator. Inside, several moon-inspired touches such as a moon boot footprint on the dead pedal and speaker grills that show the sea of tranquility serve as not-so-subtle reminders of GM's connection to NASA astronauts and the electrically-powered Apollo 15 lunar rover that the company helped engineer. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for receiving the news that you see first. Goodbye see you at the next video.